baby, this, this time I'm wrong. How can I say I'm sorry to you? I was blessed, blessed with your love, and I did you wrong, you know. Sorry, baby. Something like that. I hurt you before. Don't want to hurt you no more. Baby, this, this time I'm wrong. So how can I say I'm sorry to you? Oh, I better stop. That's enough. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I got some exciting news for y'all. This is um, something that y'all probably been wondering about. And some of y'all probably ain't been wondering about, but let's get into it anyway, shall we? Um, Harvey Weinstein is granted an appeal by the court on the rape conviction after trial judge let witnesses testify about sex attack Mogul wasn't even charged with and the juror lied about writing a book on sexual predator. Now ain't that something? Ain't that something? Ain't that a shame? My tears felt like rain. Harvey Weinstein has been granted the right to appeal his 2020 conviction for rape, for which he was sentenced to 23 years. The New York State Appeals Chief Judge Janet DeFlor on Wednesday ruled that his appeal could proceed with all arguments next year before the entire court. Weinstein's lawyer, Arthur Ada, Adala, I'm sorry, said that they were grateful for the decision, which he said acknowledged the unique and legal issues in this case. More than 80 women accused the Oscar-winning producer of sexual assault and harassment. Weinstein is currently in prison in Los Angeles, awaiting an October 11 trial on 11 counts of rape and sexual assault. Harvey Weinstein is 70 years old. And that was in 2020 that he was found guilty of rape and sentenced to 23 years. But old Harvey insisted that his relations with women were consensual. Um, well, the New York State of Appeals Chief Justin Janet LaFleur said that he has a right to appeal, and the court could uphold or overturn his conviction, and Weinstein may be free on bail awaiting any retrial. So he will be tried again. It's just simply that he will be so-called tried again. Probably the this is lining up with uh, what they did to Bill Cosby. The only difference, the only thing that to me is insane is the fact that Bill Cosby and Harvey were accused of different uh, crimes. First of all, Bill Cosby was back in the day where um, Quaaludes and uh, things like that, people took all the time. You used to go to Quaalude parties, teas and blues, all those uh, drugs. And the culture of drug use wasn't as it is today. 
That's number one. So, in my opinion, this is just my humble opinion. When Cosby got sentenced for things that he did in the 70s, pretty much. Hmm. He, you know, it's a different time. And so different things happen. Now, Harvey Weinstein seemed to be flat out raping people. And to me, that's a difference. He wasn't giving nobody drugs. He didn't want to be bothered with that. He just straight up raped you. I mean, what the hell? I mean, not that I'm saying that's funny. Please don't, don't take that as me laughing at the situation. The court could uphold or, again, overturn his conviction. and But he can be free on bail awaiting the retrial. So Weinstein spent the majority of the last two years in an upstate New York prison, but is currently in a Los Angeles jail awaiting trial next month on 11 counts of rape and sexual assault. A dollar said um, they were grateful for the decision. Thankful for the decision. And um, hey, they're going to go from there. As y'all know, uh, this happened from, it was the architect of this was the Me Too movement. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, Russell Simmons. Tabby Smiley. There were a lot of successful men, especially black men, that were accused of rape. And a lot of them got mad because a lot of them felt that, you know, hey, this, this, these women come on to us, and, and this is not, but all through time, sex has been used as a manipulation tool. And I think women were using these men, and these men were using these women. The only one to me, again, if I had to make a choice, was when you start talking about flat out raping somebody, then that's that's a bit different, in my opinion. Not that I'm making excuses for somebody uh, that would put somebody to sleep to have sex with them, because it seems like to me they, they're like necrophilia. But at the same token, usually when somebody does something like that, word is on the street you already know, in that circle, Oh, let's go over Bill's house, you know, because he has some good drugs. That's the way the culture was back then. So, like I said, I have a different feeling about Bill Cosby and what he did. So, But Harvey Weinstein, to me, was a flat-out rapist. And um, I'm interested, interested to see what happens with his case. Because to me, he's a poster child. Poster child for what the Me Too movement was all about. You know, raping people, busting in their homes, coming down with your genitals out, all that type of stuff. Uh uh. No way. Okay, I just want to know y'all opinion. So, let me know. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Oh, and again, let me thank Renee and Douglas Jones. I really appreciate y'all for the lighting uh, that you donated to the channel. Like I said, y'all, uh, the links are in the description box below. And I really appreciate everybody who has donated to the channel. Um, I wish you could donate a little more and or join. And I guess I could do some super chats on uh, live streams. And maybe if we can get some good dialogue going, that would be, be something that we could do. But I really, uh, it really helps me in terms of producing the content. And hey, let's make it happen. 
because you two be tripping. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, oh, and don't forget to watch the commercials. And thank you for that. If you like what you hear on this channel, it's a little seasoned. We talk about some of that stuff that nobody want to talk about. But it's still the madhouse, right? So if you like what you hear, subscribe and uh, like the channel. Make a comment. Let me know how you feel about it and what you think about Harvey Weinstein and his appeal. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for listening.